Hello? Ah, it's you. Welcome back. I suppose you brought me ingredients again? Wonderful. Let's take a look. Mmm, some elf's quilt moss. Red cap mushrooms. Oh, hey! Crystal cicada shell. I guess they've started molting again then, huh? And... Oh... These aren't... Basilisk scales, are they? No, no, they're, they're wonderful. But basilisks are extremely dangerous. Is there one nearby? Ah, uh, I see. You found them in a snitchwing's nest. Good. Then they're probably far away. I'd hate to think that you were putting yourself in danger for rare ingredients. Now, let's see. Hmm... I'll offer you seven silvers and ten coppers for everything. Does that sound fair? <laughs> you look surprised. You may not have had to collect the scales from a basilisk itself, but they're still very rare and very useful for alchemy. I'll be practically robbing you if I paid you anywhere close to what I normally do. <sighs> I take it you're happy with the price, then? Wonderful. Here you are. I'm excited for these scales. There are all kinds of things I can use them for. Hmm? Oh, uh, well, mostly for making mithril. It wouldn't be armor grade, but mithril has other uses. My, you're awfully curious today. Mithril is easily enchanted so I can store a lot of magic power in just a little bead. It's tremendously convenient for higher-level alchemy. Say, since you're feeling so chatty today, would you like to stay for tea? We've never really had a chance to sit down and talk. Oh, goody! Come with me. I live in the back of the shop. Oh, please forgive the mess. I promise there's a method to all the madness. I know precisely where everything is. See? I put the kettle right... Um... Okay, wait, I know it's here somewhere. Ah! Got it. See, I wasn't too far off. I'll be making my famous lavender herbal tea. I mean, it's not exactly famous, but... It would be if I had company over more often. Alchemy shares a lot in common with cooking. So, alchemists are usually good cooks, and we make the best tea ever. Uh, go ahead and take a seat. Let me just start boiling the water. So, how's life? I understand that you do some rather odd jobs around the village. Not just collecting alchemy ingredients. How's that going? Yeah, I can understand that. It's nicer to have stability. Before I got commissioned as an official alchemist, things were kind of dicey for me, too. Alchemy can be extremely useful in certain situations. But not as much in rural areas like this. But now, so long as I fulfill certain quotas, I get paid regularly. They'll even up my pay if I hire an assistant. Although, I don't think anyone out here is interested. Oh? So you're curious, eh? Well, I haven't been able to talk to anyone about it, so please, ask away. Well, basically, an official alchemist is someone recognized by the government as a capable alchemist. Every month or so, I get sent a list of potions and items that local office needs. If the ingredients are rare, they usually provide them for me. I'll just whip them up and send them out. What kind of things do they ask me for? Well... Most of the time, it's things for medicinal purposes. Healing potions, silkware for sutures, antidotes for magical ailments, that sort of thing. That 
It's important work, of course, but it's not the most exciting to produce. The things I really like making are rare items. The kind used as regions for magic spells, like, you know, things like that. I don't usually get asked to make those, but I do it in my own time. I still get to sell other stuff I make, so I keep those in the back in case some mage passes through. And as for what is alchemy, hmm, where to start? Well, I guess the best place to start is at the beginning. Alchemy doesn't have the most noble origins. It started with a power-hungry king ordering his wizards to find a way to turn other metals into gold. Technically, they succeeded, but the necessary ingredients are way more expensive than the gold they create. But the wizards realized they'd found a novel way to use magic. You see, the wizards knew right away they couldn't transmutate matter with their own magic, but they knew of a variety of magical creatures, plants, and minerals that had promising properties. They managed to extract those magic properties to do things that they couldn't. Alchemy allowed them to transcend human limitations. And I mean, sure, alchemy is a slow process, so it's not suited for every purpose. But it's versatile, powerful, and anyone can learn it. No inborn magical potential needed. Although, naturally, some people are still better at it than others. The whole thing really is an interesting process. Different sorts of magics reside in almost every living thing in various amounts. Every different type of magic has a different process for extraction. And some of them do interfere with each other, making certain combinations really difficult to get. And once you've extracted magical essence, there are a bunch of different ways to infuse it into an object, which can change the end result. <laughs> there I go. I don't get to talk about alchemy with other people that much, so when I do, I kind of gush about it. It's kind of funny. When I started practicing alchemy, I wasn't interested in it at all. It took a while to grow on me, but I finally found that I loved it once I really gave it a chance. Oh, well, it's kind of embarrassing. You see, when I was little, me and some kids snuck into an alchemist's lab and stole a bunch of stuff. Oh, we were total brats back then. My dad found out about it, and after I returned all her stuff, he made me help her out on the weekends as an assistant. For the first couple of months, I always pouted about it, acting like it was so unfair. But I caught myself listening in on her when she was muttering to herself about how to create something new. And peeking at her notes from time to time, she noticed I was getting interested. So I graduated from sweeping floors to helping prepare ingredients. Before I knew it, years had passed, and she told me I was ready to start my own lab. <laughs> Did you know that you were the first person to buy one of my creations? Uh-huh. I still remember it so well. I'd gotten really excited to be out on my own in a new town, and I had a whole bunch of items ready to sell, but nobody wants to buy something from an unproven alchemist. I didn't get any customers my first couple of days, but then you showed up and scraped your knee while exploring the forest, and you brought a healing pulse from me. Ah, <sighs> It meant so much to me even though I'm sure you didn't give it a second thought. And then... Uh... Oh, well, I... I never told you this, but... Well, without thinking, right when you had turned to leave, I rushed over to give you the biggest hug as thanks. I realized what I was going to do just in time. You turned around to see me suddenly standing behind you. I knew I had to give you a reason why I rushed over to you, so I panicked and sort of blurted out that you should get me ingredients the next time you were in the forest. <laughs> yeah, totally embarrassing. I guess you bought it, though, because the next day you were back with a sack full of herbs. 
it was the start of a long and prosperous partnership. By the way, you haven't told me why you suddenly gained an interest in alchemy. <laughs> Are you trying to become my apprentice or something? Oh, oh, wait, really? Well, I'm honored. Kind of surprised, though. You don't seem like the type to want to stay cooped up indoors. Oh, all right. So you want to learn alchemy so you can make stuff on the go as an adventurer. Honestly, that's a, that's a fantastic idea. I don't know why more adventurers just don't do that. Of course, it'll be a touch limited in what you can do without a whole lab, but you'll be able to make some basic potions, and you can make some decent quality materials to sell for extra cash. You certainly already know plenty about what ingredients to look for. So, hmm, let's see. Hey, how about stopping by on the weekends? Just like I did. I'm not the most experienced alchemist out there, but I can sure give you the knowledge of the basics. Alrighty. Well, I'm really looking forward to this. I'll be honest, I've kind of wanted to spend more time with you for a while. Hey, uh... Before you go, though, I'm thinking I still owe you that hug. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything. I appreciate it.